A truly courageous person is not someone who never feels fear, but who fears the right thing at the right time in the right way. You have to be fearless. You have to be completely fearless and have utmost belief in whatever that, that feeling is inside you. Earn your keep, earn the day, but when you're stepping into territory that's unknown and we grow up in a society where people just think that you click on things and you get it, we're, we're programmed, everything is so instant. You take a pill, you get skinny. You get this app, it sorts everything out for you. To get anything, there's no secret to it. It's just hard work. How long that lie you live in? How long you think that lie gonna live? And the only reason you're telling a lie is not because you don't know the truth, but you're worried about what other people are gonna think about your truth. I'm being real. Most of my life I was messed up because I told my father who was raising me, you ain't my daddy. You ain't produced me. You can't tell me what to do. Bruh, I'm talking about I was at the crib. He going to work every day, he paying. And once I found like, bruh, you ain't my daddy, bruh. Like flat out, you can't tell me what to do. That's where the real conflict was at. Read the book, that's where the real conflict was. I was in somebody else's kingdom, letting them know, like flat out, bruh, this might be yo, but I ain't yo, so you can't tell, but I ain't about that. You ain't, you, you a substitute. That's what I was on. I was young and dumb and didn't understand, but that's what I was saying. And many of us, we, we are listening to the substitutes. The substitutes have more authority in our lives than the God that created us, than the God that has spoken to us, the God that has anointed us, the God that has told us to go ye, therefore, the God that has equipped us, the God that has forgiven us, the God that has turned us around, the God that looked out for us when nobody else looked out for us. We care more about people who don't care nothing about us think than the God that actually loved us. The potential sacrifices itself if you don't utilize it as you mature and you just end up a 40 year old lost boy which is a horrifying thing to behold it's almost as if you're the corpse of a child the living corpse of a child because who the hell wants a six-year-old 40 year old you're a little on the stale side by that point and not the world's happiest individual what are you afraid of what's holding you back Sometimes fear does do a good thing for you because something else comes out of you. It doesn't mean that you are afraid to a point that you're weak, but it ignites something else about survival, about living, about pushing, about thriving. When you go into a room and you're getting ready to take your test or whatever you may be doing in your lifetime or something that you have never done before in your life and now you are up against a challenge and you're afraid to face that challenge, don't be ashamed of that fear. But you don't let fear control you. You don't let fear dictate your life. In fact, you tell fear, take a break. I got business to take care of.